members of the opposition there not holding back to weigh in on the travel woes of the holiday season and what should be done about it. MPs will grill air airlines at the Transport Committee and they'll also hear from Transport Minister Omar Al-Gabra who is with me live now. Hi Minister Al-Gabra, good to have you with us. Good evening uh, Vashi and congratulations on your show and it's uh, my pleasure to be with you. And thank you very much. It's great. It's a great pleasure to host you this evening. Uh, Minister, you have been saying that you're looking at ways you can improve the regulations your government have put in place to, uh, in your view, protect passengers. Can you be more specific? What improvements are you looking for and when will they be in place? Uh, first of all, Vashi, let me clarify what some of the opposition members are trying to say that is not accurate. What we saw last summer was different what we saw this Christmas. Last summer, it was a COVID recovery rush where 300% uh, increase in travel saw a stress on the entire system. Uh, we saw government agencies, we saw airlines, airports all struggle uh, with coping with the significant rush of travelers. This time around, we had two extreme weather events back to back from British Columbia to Ontario to Quebec. And then we saw one airline make unfortunate decisions that left their customers stranded. So there are two different, extremely different scenarios. Second, um, uh, the rules that we put in place into, since 2019 are great and strong, but there are opportunities for us to make them better. And we learned from what had happened last summer and we're working on figuring out to uphold those rules. However, the onus continues to be, we need the airlines to follow the rules. And when an airline doesn't follow the rule or don't meet their expectations, they're expected to compensate their passengers. So uh, to answer your question, um, I'm working right now with Transport Canada and other stakeholders on identifying new improvements to the regulations that we have to ensure that the airlines have more onus on them to uphold customers or passengers rights to provide support to the Canadian transportation agencies to have a more efficient uh, way of processing complaints. Right. Minister, you, you described your rules as great, but would you concede uh, with respect if you're having trouble getting airlines to follow them that maybe they're not so great? Um, Vashi, rules are there in place for airlines to follow. And if the airlines don't follow them, they are expected to compensate their customers and occasionally be fined. Um, so I'll concede that the CTA, Canadian Transportation Agencies, is dealing with an avalanche of complaints that were unforecasted. We are working on making sure that we streamline the process of dealing with complaints. We are also working on clarifying and strengthening these rules. But again, let's not lose sight of the fact that the airlines Private businesses are expected to hold their customers' rights uh, uh, at the center of their operation, and the government will continue to figure out how we can uh, keep airlines, uh, uh, that they keep their obligations to their customers. Uh, and Minister, certainly I'm not trying to take away from the culpability that does lie with airlines. In fact, we've invited the CEOs of all major airlines on this program. I'd love to quiz them as well. But right now, you're here, and I'd like to ask about the federal government's role. And in specifically, for example, when you talk about the effectiveness or, or, or the way in which you would characterize the effectiveness of the rules you've put in place, you talk about the backlog that the CTA is dealing with. Those are complaints based on the rules you've put in place according to the passengers not being followed. When those rules came into effect two, two years, three years ago almost, there was already a backlog. 14,000 cases in the backlog. Then there were 18,000 this past August. There are 30,000 at the end of November. That doesn't inc even include what's happening this holiday season. Again, my question is to you, would you concede that those rules are perhaps not so great and that it wasn't unforecasted that the CTA would have a lot of these complaints to deal with. Uh, Vashi, what we saw with COVID recovery and COVID uh, scenario, it really posed an unforecasted extraordinary measures and pressure on the aviation sector. Uh, this was a once in a hundred year uh, pandemic and we learned some lessons from this. So what I am saying uh, is that we're gonna learn from those lessons and strengthen the rules, including figuring out how we can make 
complaint, the complaint process much more efficient and ensure that the Canadian Transportation Agency has the, the resources and the authorities they need to make them more efficient. With respect, Minister, though, that backlog, as I just pointed out, didn't just exist because of COVID. I do take your point that COVID exacerbated a lot of things, and certainly there are a lot of lessons to heed from that, uh, and I'm not trying to take away from that. But the backlog that existed at the CTA existed in May of 2020. That backlog has grown ever since. Why has your government not adequately addressed it yet? Uh so, Vashi, I guess I'm, you know, you're not taking a uh, yes for an answer. Uh, I am saying we are working on, on strengthening and providing more tools to the Canadian Transportation Agency to deal with the backlog, to deal with complaints. Uh, there have been some lessons learned. Uh, the rules, this was, by the way, the first regime in Canada's history to deal with uh, passenger rights. Uh, and this is something, uh, it is one of the strongest in the world. Uh, yes, there have been some lessons once it got implemented and then compounded by COVID. So we're going to learn from these lessons like any responsible government would do. And then we're proceeding with ensuring that we have the resources and the tools provided for the CTA. Okay, Minister, just before I let you go, I'm going to circle back then, jumping off that answer to my first question. When can Canadians expect those improvements to the rules? I am hoping to table a proposal to Parliament this uh, during the spring session. Okay, so in the next few months? Yes, that's, that's, that's the plan. Okay, Minister, I appreciate your time as always. Thank you. Thanks, Vashi.